Hello everyone, in this video we will set up reactions to sound, like footsteps and gunshots. Truth is, we'll be faking it because there's no actual sound reactions with the behavior module, however we can get the same results with some nice tricks. It always bugged me when I missed a shot, which happens more than I want to admit, and the enemy simply wouldn't react at all, or running behind him and he just casually stroll along as if nothing was going on. In order to create this we will need Unity, Game Creator and the Behavior Module. If you want gunshots to work as well, and not just footsteps, you will need a shooter module as well. So let's dive in. I am going to demonstrate what the end result will look like. So we have some footstep sounds, but the sound itself doesn't do much. Um, it's the actual triggers that um, you know go with the sound. So now if I'm a bit closer, I'll shoot, he rotates and he will take action. Now the action he takes isn't really that important, um, it's just something I've set up. Honestly it doesn't matter all that much. There we go. I'm going to demonstrate the same thing with footstep sounds here, that's why I set up a second character here. And if I walk too close, he will hear me. Now, this area is quite small, so obviously you can set this up to whatever you would like it to be. That's completely up to you. Doesn't matter all that much. It's just your personal preference, really. So, let's set this up. Now for the purpose of this tutorial I will be using this scene, doesn't really matter what scene you are using as long as you have a player and a character with a behavior. Again the behavior he has right now is not really all that important, we're simply going to add something to be his behavior tree, so this can be done to any behavior really. If you want gunshots to work as well as footsteps, you will need the shooter module. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So again, like to reiterate, I often reuse scenes from other tutorials and this time it honestly doesn't really matter what scene you are using. So just wanted to point that out. Now I'm going to duplicate this scene. Let's call this sound. Cool. First thing we are going to do is set up our player. So our player, I'm going to add an empty here. Uh, sound reactions. Just going to call it like that. All of the sound reactions I'm going to add, I will basically group in here. So let's set up a trigger and another trigger and both will have actions. Inside of this I will add um, two other reactions. So these will basically be um, gunshots, footsteps. The way this is set up is really, really similar, so again, doesn't really matter all that much if you're not using the shooter module, just follow along for the footsteps. So the first one will be on step, so that's for the character, doesn't matter which step it is. And we're going to add another action here by the way. The second one will be for the shooter module and that will be on shoot. We're going to add a trigger to both of these after we add a collider for both. So let's add a sphere collider. Now this is the important part, this is going to be a trigger, I'm going to add it a both the height of his shots 
not really all that important um, because you know it's just fair but just to make it slightly more realistic going to do a radius of 10 um, which I think is pretty big but not you know not too big won't cover the entire scene really going to add another trigger here which will be um, just going to look for tag here on tag enter there we go and I'm going to use enemy now if you want this to work the other characters that we have to react to this will need a enemy tag as well so I added it to the character itself and the parents um, if you do not have a enemy tag just you know add tag and just type in enemy or whatever you want it to be whatever makes you happy so we have this one set up so this is for the gunshot we're going to do the same now for footsteps now obviously this will be a lot smaller unless you have a character that wears incredibly heavy boots but you know I doesn't have to be too big so I'm going to use a radius of two you can make this bigger it's completely up to you it's going to be the exact same trigger so on tag enter and we're going to use enemy on collision with tag will not work so there's another one on collision enter with tag uh, you think that would be what we're doing here but it's apparently not so <laughs> going to add actions to both of these as well there we go so those are set up next step is going to cre be creating a global variable so we're going to go to game creator preferences and I have sound hit already set up here because uh, it's a global reference so in order to do this you will click new this has to be a bool uh, default value has to be disabled no tag and player sounds I'm just going to use, name it player sounds there we go now there will uh, we'll need to basically make a couple of things happen here so what we're going to do is on gunshot what is actually going to happen bull there we go global player sound and it's going to be active I'm going to put a wait for maybe a second and then we're going to deactivate it again really short and simple we can actually remove this action here um, because we can just simply use the exact same one so both of these will use the same uh, same action which is fine I'm even going to drag it out and just put it in here just just to be sure I'm going to disable both of these and that's what these reactions will be so we have uh, 11 here as the first one we're going to activate footsteps wait 0 0.5 seconds and we're going to deactivate it so basically with every step it will deactivate activate etc next up is going to be this one and this is where we're going to play a 3d sound now like I said I am definitely no expert so I think it was concrete if I'm correct yeah 
For some reason I only have barefoot uh, audio files for footsteps and retro files. I'm not really sure why. Don't want these to be too loud. Um, so we'll set these values again. There might be a way better way. I'm not even really sure what Spatial Blend even does, um, which is definitely something I'll need to look at at some point, but this will work. On shoot is going to do the same thing, so we can even copy over actions here um, just to simplify things. There we go, and we need to make sure it's actually gunshot that is active. So there we have it, player setup, sound reactions, on footsteps it will activate and play a sound. Same with on shoot. Now next up is going to be the actual enemy character. So let's open up his behavior graph. Again, it doesn't really matter what behavior graph you are using, what task you are using, we're simply going to add one to any existing behavior graph. It doesn't really matter which one it is. Now, the importance of, um, so the order of this task is quite important, so uh, it should never supersede any actions like seeing a player, for example, it should be low but you know not as low as where you know in task where nothing really happens like this one where he can't see the player and he's just patrolling so this is what we're going to do so we add a condition uh, based on a variable it's a global variable, the one we just set up. So in this case, I called it player sound. It's going to compare the value if this is true. So if this is active, basically, something is going to happen. In this case, um, just going to have him rotate here. So the invoker is going to rotate towards the player. Wait one second. And if he doesn't spot the player in that time, he will just continue with this task. If he does, well, these tasks will supersede that wait one second anyway. So that's why it's important that it never supersedes these two. Otherwise, he would wait one second before reacting to seeing our player. So that's the important thing. You can you know, have audio files, um, a reaction to seeing us, etc. I think this will already do that. So in this one, we have a audio file reaction. So yeah, just going to keep it simple here. He's just going to rotate towards the player. This is going to happen so fast that if he actually sees the player, he will play all of these sounds, etc. The important thing here is because we're using a global variable and you might have you know, a lot of enemies set up, even if they're not all active at that point, so if you're you know, trying to save up some processing power by not enabling all AIs at once, even if another one is close, he would also react. So that's why it's important that nothing much happens here. Again, he will just rotate towards the player. If we're in sight, he will react to that anyway. If we're no longer in sight because we're hiding behind something, nothing will really happen. He will react, he will look for the player, wait a second and then continue. Cool, so we set up the enemy to react to the variable. So let's actually give this a go. Perfect. So let's pick up some ammo, pick up our gun. Now, as you can see, we have a footstep sound, but he's not reacting. We're quite far. We're going to shoot and he's not reacting. Let's get a bit closer to our guy here. Shoot. 
Enemy. And there we go. He reacts. Now let me finish him off. Oh my lord. Awful shot. There we go. Now, obviously gunshots are quite loud, so the trigger area is quite big. I'm going to wait a bit and try to get close to him and... Nothing is happening. That's... and I saw him jump up a bit. Pretty sure I forgot to turn... not turn it... there we go, it's not actually a trigger. Let's give that another go. Now let's try to get close to the enemy without him seeing us. There we go, perfect. Enemy. And there we go. So we were close enough. He, well, fake could hear something. He, in reality, he just reacted to the trigger and he well basically took action so the action he's taking here doesn't really matter so again I'd like to have a quick look at the behavior tree here so whatever task you have set up for you know what he does when he sees the player doesn't really matter that I have these set up for example that's why it's important that it's never a priority so it should always be you know a lower value than uh, seeing the player or you know getting hurt for example that way the moment he actually sees us this will no longer matter and it, this will always take place first so we can shoot all we want he's next to him it's not going to do anything if he already saw us because this is more important so definitely wanted to emphasize the importance of the order here so that's it really, we have everything set up, footsteps, gun sounds, and he is actually reacting to what we're doing. So hope you enjoyed this, if you did, please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.